Tech 6 Plus. This vaporizer was designed specifically for the volatile agent desflurane. This agent is unusual in that its boiling point is around room temperature. Stop. Come again. Its boiling point is around room temperature. Yes. Desflurane's boiling point is 22.8 degrees. That means it is an extremely volatile liquid inhalational agent. We all know that the Tech 6 vaporizer for desflurane is electrically powered supplied heat vaporizer. The question is desflurane which is extremely volatile is heated up to be used as anesthetic agent while other contemporary volatile agents like halothane, isoflurane, sevoflurane with boiling point in and around 50 degrees Celsius are vaporized using conventional flow over vaporizers without supplying thermal energy. Hi, I'm Sanish, welcoming you to another edition of Tools in Anesthesia and Critical Care. When this question came to my mind, I did a thorough literature search. If you already know the answer, pause the video right now, organize your thoughts. And if you don't know the answer, still pause the video, go to the literature and join me back for the rest of the video. Well, I think you are ready with the answer now. Here we go. I would like to put it in three different parts or components. It depends on desflurane's unique physical properties. First one will be its saturated vapor pressure. What is saturated vapor pressure? Imagine a liquid and its vapor in thermodynamic equilibrium inside a container. Saturated vapor pressure is the pressure exerted on the walls of the container by the vapor molecules in thermodynamic equilibrium. For desflurane, it is 666 millimeters of mercury roughly, which is far higher compared to the other contemporary volatile agents. The higher saturated vapor pressure also means the number of molecules available as vapor in equilibrium above the liquid is also much much higher that means if you are trying to pass the fresh gas flow over the liquid phase or the vaporizer container it's going to carry a huge amount of vapor molecules so that you would require a very high amount of fresh gas flow to make it diluted to clinically useful concentrations now this has become uneconomical. Okay, the second property, very important one, latent heat of vaporization. It is the amount of energy required to convert a liquid state into its vapor state. In liquid states, molecules are tightly bonded and in vapor state, the molecules have higher dynamic or kinetic energy. Where does this energy come from? It is drawn from the liquid. So the molecules draw energy from the liquid or heat from the liquid and pass on to the vapor state. That means the more the vaporization, the more the loss of heat from the liquid state. In a liquid like desflurane with very high latent heat of vaporization evaporates, the faster will be the cooling which is happening in the liquid which is going to affect the consistency or precision of vaporization. As the liquid cools off, the amount of vaporization comes down. For clinical use, we need a consistent vapor, vapor output. Hence, irrespective of the thermal conductivity of the material of the container, we need to supply heat because this evaporative cooling happens at a rapid pace. 
In desflurane vaporizer, we not only supply heat to avoid cooling, we actually heat the liquid to a very high temperature like 39 degrees Celsius in order to have a constant vaporizer output. Let's have a look at how this is being carried out. Unlike our other conventional vaporizers, this is a measured flow gas vapor blender type of vaporizer. Here's the diagram of the desfluorin vaporizer. You can find the vaporizer dial and fresh gas outlet. This diaphragm in the pressure transducer separates the fresh gas flow from the vaporizing chamber with the help of flow resistor. It senses the amount of fresh gas flow through differential pressure transducer. You can find the liquid uh, desfluorine heater which is heating to 39 degrees to build vapor to 1300 millimeters of mercury and which will be regulated through initial flow control valve controlled by pressure transducer. Second flow control valve is controlled by us through vaporizer dial and the reason why we need uh, almost two atmospheric pressure is to act as a driving pressure so that the vapor joins the fresh gas flow. You can see the fresh gas flow and the gas vapor blending. I hope you agree with me. Your feedbacks and suggestions are always welcome. Until we meet next time, it's goodbye from Sanish.